Hi everyone, welcome to your, the to Monday and Monday's Musings videos. It is actually Tuesday night, um, almost a week uh, past from when you're viewing this. I am away at a painting retreat with my art club and I am painting and teaching so I decided to make the video early and then schedule it for you to watch on Monday morning. So what I'm bringing to you today, tonight, <laughs> it's after midnight, I've already, I came home from work and and relaxed a little bit and uh, was on the computer a little bit and now it's actually 1.22 Wednesday morning and uh, I'm going to show you um, about uh, Spellbinder's new media mixage. And I've got, um, this comes in a square, in a triangle, in a kind of a shield um, shape. It comes in a lot of different shapes. And um, this is the bezel, and it is an oval bezel. And I'm looking to see if there was a, another name on there, but there isn't. So we'll just call it an oval bezel. And they're really pretty cool. Let me pull one of these off of the card because they have a, a lot of, they remind me of steampunk and they have a lot of knobs and things and they're uh, a very strong metal and they come like this and what I did was I cut a, an oval piece of paper to fit in there because Spellbinders also makes the ovals the to the dies to cut your paper with and there are three of them and they fit these three sizes here and I picked up their paper also I mean I cut those three out of different spots in this paper and we have this set which is let's see number two and it has a lot of different uh, kind of papers that you can use for for the media mixage as well as for other things cards and assemblages and things like that so it's it's quite varied I'm just gonna kind of um, go through here just a little bit so that you can see this some really different paper and then this one is Num ephemera number one and it's got a whole different look to it and they are two-sided pages it's um, very thin paper it's not cardstock it's just paper but that's okay because you don't want it taking up a whole lot of room inside your bezels so I've got my um, ovals cut in there and what I did to do also is I went through some of my stash and I pulled out some some tiny little findings a set of wings a little flower and a, a locket heart and I set these inside the medium bezel and just kind of arrange them in there oops hang on I want those wings to be the other way <laughs> okay um, let me grab something pointy <laughs> to help me arrange things in there use your tweezers this is a um, something pointy I'm not even sure what it is okay so let's get those set in there and I'm going to put now um, Spellbinders does have media mixage ice resin for this but I don't have any because when I tried to get it it was sold out so I'm going to experiment and I'm going to pour some glossy accents in here. Probably actually should even take off 
Let's take off the uh, lid. Maybe. There we go. So that it's a little faster pouring and hopefully it won't um, move. Oh, it's going in really well. Good. Okay, and you want to be sure that you don't get it, you don't spill out over it. Okay, and I, it looks like it's domed a little bit, so that's pretty nice. Now I'm experimenting, so we'll see what it's like to dry it. Let's see if we can dry it a little bit. Okay, being careful to hold it up away from it because you don't want it to to blow out of the container there. And I think I want to just poke in there and move my wings a little bit again. Okay, so it's starting to skim over on the top. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there overnight so that it will completely dry and then it will turn clear so I will make I will um, post a picture of it because I'm pretty sure that it's going to dry down overnight and be just really nice for a necklace or even could go this way for a bracelet so we'll see what we can make out of it but I'm going to leave, leave it dry overnight now if I was thinking ahead I've had one overnight for you already to show you now, but I'm just uh, kind of trying to get some things done before I go out of town for three days. So that's <laughs> going to have to wait until and be a picture. <laughs> so um, I wanted to show you also that I've gotten hold of the Alterations Picture Wheel Die and I've been playing around with that just a little bit. I haven't really made anything yet but I've cut out some things. Cut out some black wheels and some white ones and I'm going to cut some grunge board ones. And I've also got um, the Tim's pocket watch die and I've cut out a few of those naturally. I cut out some purple, cut out some black ones, and then I cut one which, and I used my movers and shapers uh, bunny die, and I cut bunny out of one of them, out of the purple ones, and that's kind of cool to to um, have the black backing it. So I'm not sure what all I'm going to do with these yet either. I'm going to take some with me when I go to my uh, painting retreat and then I'm going to play around and I'll have something for you guys probably with one or both of these two dies when I come back for the next Monday so I hope you all have a really good week and I'm going to have fun painting and teaching a mixed media project and I will um, post a picture I think I may have already put that picture on my blog uh, at one time in the past but I will put a picture again of the the uh, mixed media painting that I'm teaching called Peacock Garden so have a good week everyone bye